What do the Roma tomato, red spinach, and huckleberry gold potato all have in common? They're vegetables. They're all round. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know the answer? Well, listen further and find out. This is Science in Your Shopping Cart, and I'm Todd Silver. Tomatoes, spinach, and potatoes. These three vegetables have been part of the human diet for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Okay, so technically tomatoes are fruits, but we treat them as very close cousins in the vegetable family. These three vegetables, or two vegetables and a fruit if you will, they're loaded with healthy good stuff that make them as tasty as well as great for our bodies. And they're versatile. The tomato alone has over a hundred different varieties. So what do these three items have in common? The Roma tomato, the red spinach, and the huckleberry gold potato? To find out, we'll have to travel to potato country Idaho, and then to sunny California. But first, let's explore the origins of the Roma tomato, and head to Italy. Ah, Rome, truly one of the great cities on earth. Rome is home to around 3 million residents, and millions more visit each year, walking their streets, churches, and amazing historical sites. From the Colosseum to the Spanish Steps, Rome is also home to some of the most amazing food and wine in the world. So it's no surprise that the hearty Roma tomato was invented in the Eternal City. Wait, it says here the Roma tomato wasn't invented in Rome? It was developed in Beltsville, Maryland? Can this be right? So you started in this building here? This is where I was, yes. I, actually, I started building two. And then we went to building 50. <laughs> I visited Dr. Ator Matu, a researcher in Beltsville's Sustainable Agricultural Systems Laboratory. He showed me one of the greenhouses where different varieties of tomatoes are developed. Okay, so what are we looking at here? So here we have about five different ways of transforming tomatoes and for different purposes actually. One is high yield, uh, better nutrition, high lycopene tomatoes, and also a couple of them for resistance to abiotic stresses. So that is what you see here. Dr. Mertu explained that the Roma tomato was developed here in Beltsville in 1955 by ARS scientist William Port. The elongated Italian red tomato was bred from the San Marzano and red top varieties. The Roma was developed to be highly resistant to wilt, to be grown in a variety of climates, and with its heavy fleshy outer and inner walls, give it protection against pests. Researchers later found out that the Roma was also a reasonable source of lycopene. You mentioned the lycopene, and then the advantage of a tomato that's rich in that source it's is anti-cancer. It's known that the lycopene consumption is anti-cancerous. For it's very good for health, actually. Okay. It's a carotenoid. You know, carotenoid. You have different kinds of carotenoid, but lycopene particularly is a special one that has been shown to be anti-cancerous. Today, ARS researchers are cultivating new varieties that have a brighter appearance, are tastier, more disease resistant, and are more suited to handle climate stressors. We are trying to figure out certain of these cultivars that have developed resistance to drought and to uh, heat and to cold. So if you have minus, four, see, tomatoes cannot be kept at four degrees too long because they get destroyed, okay? So, but we have some genes in these that allow them to stay at four for a little longer if you want to and they are they, because they provide them cold tolerance to these tomatoes same way we have done this for the heat very high heat so they, they get destroyed so in our case they recognize the heat but there are genes that take care of it and these plants keep going actually even at high heat so we have four or five different... The tomato research done here in Beltsville has attracted industry members such as Heinz Ketchup, as well as scientists from all over the world. A lot of people around the world have come here, seen these tomatoes for many years. And, and that becomes a good thing because people are interested in what we are doing in the USDA. And this is one of the very productive 
features we have here. So people get excited and also tomatoes are red and, you know. Other previously bred tomatoes produced here in Beltsville can be found in ketchups, canned goods, and of course in the produce section of a grocery store. They can also be grown just about anywhere, including in Rome. Now that's amore.